Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I am going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors in my palette and I have here the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant tree, the medium yellow, and the raw umbers. I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. And if you're using um, other browns like um, burnt china and raw um, burnt umber, um, we can still use that. But I recommend burnt umber because it's the darker one, the darkest one. and and if you're using the burnt china, you can mix it with red and blue to make it dark or look like black. Okay. And these are my brushes. I have here the number 12 nylon flat brush, long handled. And I'll be using here the number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 7 nylon flat brush, short handle. I also have here the number um, 3 nylon flat brush at handle and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one this is the number 11 bristle flat brush long handle and also I will use the number 0 line reverse for the details you can also use 1 double zero, triple zero, zeros Okay, and those are just the possible brushes that I'm going to use. And this is my canvas. It's 8 by 12, uh, 10 inches, sorry. It's 8 by 10 inches. It has three of prime, white acrylic, and also gesso. I made it myself. And we need water to stain the paint. And also here we need water spray. If we're going to need to wet our canvas, and it will be easier for us to blend the colors paints okay so i think i'm going to start now and today i'm going to paint something like um a moonrise yes it's a moonrise and i'm going to put i'm going to put some another crossing waves here with the with a reflection and i'm not sure what it will be something like a tropical landscape yes i'm thinking something like that okay so here we go, we're gonna start now. And first we need to put some colors on our sky. So I'm gonna use some some blue and red to make some purple. So first we need to cover everything with this color. It will be very very dark. You can spray it with water so that it will be easier to blend.
and also I'm going to use more red and white this part here will be water so do not worry I am just doing first the background tones or the first coats on here this will be the horizon or maybe I'm going to put it upper yes yeah I think I'm going to refill and put some blue on my palette. Can I use more blue and some some red and yellow? Yes, and white. more white there so I think I'm going to make this part a little lighter I'm gonna put more blue color here. I want the sky to be more bluish. So all you have to do is blend here. All you have to just blend, properly blend it, okay? And just do it smoothly. Just blend the colors with the background. There. Okay, now we're gonna put the horizon. I'm gonna use more purple colors. So I'm gonna put some red on the on the blue, and we're gonna make some horizon here. Let's make this more solid, and of course straight. to 
then I'm going to put so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use another brush with this I'm going to use the, num the smaller brush this is the number seven flat brush and I'm going to put the moon here on the top so I'll be using a smaller brush this is the number seven flat brush and we need to use the white and we're gonna put the sun oh no I mean the moon here I think I'm gonna put it here okay so it will be a very big moon so we need to create a circle moon Don't worry, just we, need, we just have to retest it later. Then we're gonna put some clouds. Using some white paints. So... another one here some highlights so we're just using the highlights to create the form of the clouds there so just create a circular strokes or yes something like that It's really nice. More here. I think it's just very easy to paint these clouds here. We don't need to, to have a special brush just to create these clouds. All you have to do is we need uh, we just have to use this flat brush. can highlight the, uh, the highlights by using some pure white there to light in this part also need to put some few clouds at the distance there So I am adding more highlights now to, to make it lighter using pure white. If you are painting, just follow what I'm doing. Okay.
pretty nice. Okay, so you don't have clouds. And here on this part you need to put the, the reflection. So I need to just have to create some short horizon uh, horizontal lines there. And here I'm going to put the, the reflection on the on the sand. So I'm gonna make this part lighter. But later later I'm going to make this a little orange or brown there and of course I'm going to put some crushing waves here so here I'm gonna use some white and I'm going to put big crushing waves This is how big it is. There. I think I'm going to use I'm going to use a gray stone or bluish gray color. I'm going to add some white here on this purple, and I'm going to make that as the um, foam, water foams. Okay. And here we're going to put some uh, water foams. There. And also on the back of this huge wave, we need to put some um, other waves. So I'm going to retouch the moon, I'm going to add some more white and let's put some more highlights here. I'm not sure if it's so I, it's not yet. Do not overdo it. I'm, um, Yes, just add some few highlights on the moon to create the illusion that there's some um, greater 
craters or moon craters there. Okay. It. Okay. Now I'm going to use more blue color and yellow here. Yeah. Because I'm going to put some greenies here. I think some blue green color. So I'm going to add more blue. to make this um, um, to make the color here more transparent very nice and exciting there I think I'm gonna use more yellow and white. Okay, I think it's more white and the blue green. can now see a more transparent look of the water or than the crossing wave and here I'm gonna put use more because I'm gonna put more colors using this um, using this um, blue green color so we need to add more color here on the on this part of the water. And also here. So just use the blue green, blue and yellow to make some blue green color. And I'm gonna use this blue with some red to make it to make it purple and I'm going to make this part darker. So let's make this part a little darker.
and also here I need to put I need to make this part darker okay okay let's continue using this one so more blue color and white and it's also add some blue stone here I mean um, it's a um, blue green color And also let's put some um, darker purple with some white to make it lighter and it's dark in some parts there Now I'll be using some pure white. I'll be using some pure white here and let's paint some highlights. On here, reflecting the light from the moon. Okay. You can use the topping technique of punching. There. And also here. Okay, as you can see, we can now see clear the, the water reflection from the moon and it looks awesome and looks real, okay, and we're gonna need to use some more white, mix it here and we need more highlights here, not so white, so we need to mix it here with some blue, bluish gray or light purple It looks nice. And also let's put some highlights here, little highlights.
on the distance okay and then we're gonna put, put some fumes here these are some water fumes foams, I mean, I mean fu foams, sorry guys <laughs> Uh, make sure that you use um, grayish blue color so that um, we can see it there that um, the sun is not uh, the moon is not um, hitting that part Okay, and again, do not overdo it. Always remember that overdoing such things will will make it look like exaggerated, and it's not it's not good for if you want to paint realistic uh, paintings. Okay, there. Okay, next we're going to put the color of the sand. Okay, and I'm gonna use this. Number seven, uh, number eight, flat brush, long handle. Sorry. Then I'm going to use this row umber. I'm going to color this part here. And then I'm going to use this raw umber with some yellow and of course red and white. Let's lighten this part here. This is the moon reflection. Then we're going to use more white and we're going to do it this way. Huh? There. Just a horizontal line to create the reflection from the moon. Just blend it, and I'm gonna add more white. There, and I think I'm going to light in the. the Just lighten this part. Okay. Yes, that looks pretty nice.
Okay, so what's next? Of course, we need to use this more. I'm gonna put it here to make this look shallow. I'm gonna add more browns here. And also here. Just a little browns to make the, to make this part look shallow. Do some dark. It. Next, we're going to put more highlights and we're going to add, use this row umber again and make this part darker. There. Okay. And then I need to put because I think the the moon is will be hitting this part here, so we need to lighten this part. So we need to put highlights on that part with a pure white color. So I'm gonna use the this pure white, and we need to make this foams here lighter. There. Okay. And of course here. And with some a little Okay. Touch it. I'm going to darken this part. Okay. There. So, yes, I think we're almost done with this part there. And for me, it looks realistic. It's very really nice.
Okay, so, so I think I'm going to put the, la the last part. I'm going to do it here. Is I'm going to put a bolt here on the distant. Yes. Or a ceiling bolt. So I'm going to use the raw umber with some blue color. No, with some red to make it purple. And with a little white to make it a little lighter. More blue and let's put it here. I think I'm gonna put it here. It should be darker, so I'm gonna use more romber. No, I mean, I mean red and blue. gonna be a really huge boat a sailing boat so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some um, sails here I don't know what you're gonna call this one but I'm going to use the number zero liner brush here I'm gonna use some white and mix it with um, some grayish blue color I'm not really sure what I'm doing now. <laughs> blue color there and I'm gonna use more uh, pure white I think I'm gonna darken some parts here. I'm not sure if this really look like a boat. <laughs> okay. I think that looks like a boat now. Wait, I think I'm going to. So 
So we touch more. Adding more darker tones. Okay, I think I am done. Yes. So that's it. So, so, yes, I think I'm going to retouch more on the shape of the moon. <laughs> it doesn't look like perfect circle. Make sure that it's a good circle. Even if it's not that perfect. Okay, I think that's it. And I'm going to add more white. Okay, so I think I consider it done. So I want to say thank you guys for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this tutorial. You learn something out of this and you can apply it on your own, you can paint on your own, you can have your own landscape, you can have your own seascape. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today and please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future and if you are going to paint with me just follow what I'm doing and it's up on painting. And if uh, my only advice is keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you master brush, the more you mix the colors. That's why I'm using the colors my palette because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, guys. Once again, thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.